Memories fans to the final edition of Bungie Motorsports Magazine for 1993. In today's program, we are stopping in at Hammond River Raceway for the CMA-sanctioned Maritime Motor Cross Series. We'll be seeing action in the 250 and 125 cc categories. So settle back in your easy chair, and let's pass the microphone over to race announcer Larry McCall. The gate's down, and they're underway, and it's a clean start. And looks like intermediate uh, plated bike, the veteran rider Earl Dusa, who grabbed a hole shot, and now they sort themselves out. The number 14, sorry, the number 74. And I retract that again. That should be the 14. Dale Pike of Riverview. Scott Lockhart on the 182. The 101 is Johnny Montez. Behind him, Kirk Avery. Then the 63, the Joe Show. Joe Doucette. And obvious as they rip down the straight. The Brian Guerron didn't make it out in this one. So maybe we'll get a report from somebody as to what his condition is after that bail-off in the earlier 125 moto. So watch for the 101, the borrowed Suzuki of Port City Radiator sponsor, Johnny Montez. Sure fit Montez out to the front now. That was to be expected. Intermediate riders tucked in behind. A lot of dust for the guys at the back of the field here. As they begin to drop off the pace, Montez, your leader on the number 101. Behind him, the 14, is an intermediate, Dale Pike out of Riverview, followed by another intermediate, Scotty Lockhart, also racing the veterans class on the Atlantic Yamaha YZ 250. We're looking for lap times on Montez this time around. The number 63 is for second place pro right now. That is the Joe Show, Joe Dutek, from the Zoomer on the high-tech toys Suzuki. Behind him, Kurt Avery racing up in the pro class for this one on the number 55 Honda. This Hammond River Raceway course beginning to come apart under the punishment as we run our fifth moto of the afternoon here. The 250 Intermediate and Pro Class combined. Johnny Montez running away up front right now without the challenge from Brian Dwaron. That was to be expected. Stopwatch running on our leader here as he tries to put as much ground as possible between himself and the rest of the field. The 101 of Johnny Montez of St. John, the sure fit, Mac Tools Suzuki, high in the air over the tabletop, into the right-hand switch back that takes them onto the front straight. We get ready to punch the watch. It is a 101.73 lap. They have gone faster. Scott Lockhart wants to be overtaken by Joe Doucet on the number 63, so it is an intermediate in second place physically on the track, a pro in third physically on the track. And Montez leading it on the number 101. Hope you're enjoying the action and the sunshine. The 1993 Eldridge's Honda Motocross Series here at Hammond River Raceway. Day one of a two-day event. Montez scorching around the course here. The number 101 up into the spectator area now at the step jump. Gets a little bit of air and a big, beautiful rooster tail off the back wheel. Scott Lockhart still holding on to second in the field. He leads the intermediate. Joe Doucette, the number 63, high-tech toy Suzuki out of Sherwood, Prince Edward Island, is third in the, on the course and second in the pro class. And he is the man we're timing right now. We punched the watch at a 103.35. That will not get him up to where Montez is. He's going to have to find a little more power than that. The 757 in behind him, Derek Scott of Greenwood, Nova Scotia, product finder Suzuki. He is an intermediate rider. And the rider who is off over here, at the end of the double jump, the 747 of Randy Legere of Amherst, the product finder rocket sponsored Suzuki. Brian Dueron and Montez collided earlier in the 125 moto. Dueron uh, in some pain 
as he headed back to the fix and obviously a little more pain than we anticipated as he does not show on the line for the 250 race. Stopwatch running once again on your leader, Johnny Montez, the Fort City Radiator, Sure Fit, Matt Tool sponsored Suzuki, Joe Dusset. Up to second place physically on the track as he has gotten by Scotty Lockhart. Lockhart drops back another position. And we'll try and sort him out next time around as the field begins to sort. Putting the pros in the position where they should be. The intermediates tucked in behind them as nature would have it. The number 55 and the number 78 machines with intermediate plates are actually racing up in the pro class here this afternoon to make a field of five. That is Kirk Avery, the number 55, and the 78, the Deuce, Earl Doucette, from Salisbury, New Brunswick. Montez he comes around so quickly it almost looks like there's two of them. Over the double jump into the left-hander and heading for the tabletop. And he will be up into the lap traffic soon. Rolls that lap in a 102.16. But the watch on Doucette, the Joe Show, number 63, the high-tech toy Suzuki of Joe Doucette. And in behind him, 757 is now your lead intermediate. Derek Scott of Greenwood, Nova Scotia, second in the intermediate for 182, the counselor, Scott Walker. The 17 of St. John's own David Arsenault back in third in the intermediate field. And behind him, a rider who normally would be racing head-to-head -head with him, the 55 of Kirk Avery. He is racing up in the pro class for this afternoon's card. Montez on the number 101 looks around the track to see if there is any threat near him. He will only race as hard as he has to to keep it out in front. The worst thing that can happen would be to take a step off at this point in time with a good solid lead because right behind him is the Joe Show. In fact, we'll check the interval now. Montez goes by the timing point, has a whole straightaway plus some in front of Doucette and the high-tech toy Suzuki who is 7.70 seconds back. Then the 7.57 of your lead intermediate, Derek Scott, the product finder Suzuki out of Greenwood, Nova Scotia. Scott Lockhart on the Atlantic Yamaha YZ250 on the 182 machine is Fourth on the field, second in the intermediate pack. And Kirk Avery has gotten by St. John's Dave Arsenault. The number 17 Kawasaki is third right now in the intermediate field. And Dale Pike, the number 14 out of Riverview, New Brunswick, who had a great hole shot and led the field for most of the first lap, is back in fourth spot in the intermediates as they stand right now. We are just past the halfway mark. They race for 15 minutes plus one lap. Montez cruising through back marker traffic as he gets around the 88 of Dartmouth, Nova Scotia's Peter Murphy. We'll put the watch on Montez again. See if he is pacing himself or picking up the pace. A little over eight seconds between Montez and the second place rider, Joe Doucette, the number 63 High Tech Toys Suzuki. The 757 in behind Doucette is your lead intermediate, Derek Scott of Greenwood. Scott Lockhart is next in the field on the 182, and Kirk Avery now reeling him in. Avery racing up in the pro class here. David Arsenault of St. John continues to hold down third. In the intermediate field on the number 17, Kawasaki. And Johnny Montez, the number 101. A borrowed machine, equipment problems, and this is the way motocross is. You can always find someone to lend you a ride. The SureFit Mac Tool sponsored Suzuki. Port City Radiator sponsored rider, Johnny Montez. A 103.87, so he is pacing himself now. He's settled in. And we'll check the lap time on Joe Doucette, who gets off the line and over the berm here on the number 63. As he goes around the back marker, number 88, Peter Murphy of Dartmouth. The 757 of Derek Scott continues to lead the intermediates. Up to third place in the pros, the number 55 of the intermediate plate is a pro rider today. He's Kirk Avery. And Scott Locker right behind him is your second place intermediate. Then another back marker, Jeff Griffith on the number 98. Then your third place intermediate, St. John's David Arsenal, the number 17 Kawasaki. Doing a good job here as he moves through traffic in the latter stages of this race. 
the number 78 is veteran rider Earl Doucette who has taken the big move and is racing all the way up in the pro class to help the field out in terms of contingency cash. The more riders, the more the money. So Doucette really taking it upon himself here to race two classes. Doucette. And that is Joe Doucette. The number 63 really picks up the pace of 101.25 lap that time around. So he is storming late in this one. Derek Scott of Greenwood, Nova Scotia continues to lead the intermediates. Right behind him, Kirk Avery reeling him in. The number 55 machine again would normally be racing against him head to head. 55 is racing up in the pro class here this afternoon. Back marker traffic for David Arsenault, the number 17 Kawasaki, St. John native. He goes by the Jeff Griffith machine, the number 98. Arsenault runs third in the intermediate field. Montez putting the pass on a number of riders, the 78 of Earl Doucette, the 747 of Randy Legere of Amherst. Stopwatch running on the leader, the 101, Johnny Montez. And I'm looking for Joe Doucette. He's missing in action. There he is, down the front straight. So he is dropping ground here, losing ground to Montez, who has either picked up the pace or Doucette got a little bit of trouble on that last lap. One point, just the front straightaway separating the two riders. Montez in top spot, the number 101, SureFit, Mac Tools, Port City Radiator Suzuki. Joe Doucette out of Sherwood, Prince Edward Island on High Tech Toys Suzuki in second spot. And Kirk Avery, the number 55 machine with the intermediate plate, is racing up in the pro class. He is third and he is reeling in the leaders now. A 102.52 lap for the leader, Johnny Montez. Your intermediate field, the 757 of Derek Scott with the lead. Montez over the tabletop. And he has settled into a rhythm here. Montez on the front straight. And he looks down at the number 101 Suzuki and I can't tell if it's running from up here. Oh, well, he's gonna give her a few kicks and see if he can get her underway. The lead disappears. Joe Doucette goes through. Kirk Avery goes through. We were, I believe, two laps from the end of this one. And it disappears for young Johnny Montez. He will live to race another day. The number 63, the Joe Show, always shines at St. John. He, uh, for some reason, enjoys this kind of track. Nice and flat and fast. So Joe Doucette, the high-tech toy Suzuki, in the lead in the pro class. Second place, the number 55 of Kirk Avery, wearing the intermediate plate, racing up a class. And the boys thought that it would be quite ironic if these guys who raced up a class finished in the money. Well, they're going to do it. The 757 of Derek Scott leads the intermediate. Scott Lockhart sits second on the 182. And St. John's David Arsenault third on the number 17 Kawasaki. Your leader up over the step jump. The 63 of Joe Doucette continuing to cruise through back marker traffic. Gets by Randy Legere of Amherst. One lap to go for the leader now. Doucette puts it down hard at the end of the tabletop. Around that right hander. Shoots down the front straight. All alone in the lead. Back markers in behind. Randy Legere, Dale Pike, then the second place rider in the field in the pro class wearing intermediate plate 55 is Kirk Avery. 
Then your lead intermediate, the 757 of Derek Scott of Greenwood, Nova Scotia. He has put Earl Doucet on the 78 down a lap. And then the 182 of Scott Lockhart, a veteran class rider racing in the intermediate field here today. Second in the class right now. And just about to come over the tabletop, the number 17 St. John's own David Arsenault on the Kawasaki. Solidly in third and back markers in behind him. So he has lapped through riders in his own field. Getting ready for checkered flag time. Joe Doucette can't believe his run of luck or the lack thereof for Johnny Montez. Checkered flag waiting at the tabletop. Joe Doucette, big style out for us here as he puts it down on the down slope of the tabletop. The 747, a back marker rider comes through. Some passing action. Dale Pike gets passed by the number 55. Kirk Avery with the intermediate plate racing up in the pro class today and finishing second in the field for 12 points in his first moto then your intermediate class winner 15 points for this guy the 757 product finder suzuki of Derek scott of greenwood nova scotia earl Doucette finishes a lap down then scott lockhart second place in the intermediates on the number 182 atlantic yamaha yz 250 yet to come over the doubles into the left hander and heading for the tabletop third place finisher in the intermediate field the number 17, St. John's own David Arsenault. More back markers yet to finish. And that will put a cap on the first 250 Intermediate and Pro Moto. Inside, takes over the lead. They get involved in the Joe Show, number 63. The high-tech choices now are through with the line. Gets over the top of the bird, grabs a whole bunch of track centers. Johnny Montez high in the air over the tabletop, puts it down smooth at the far end. Behind him, Petty Kodiak, New Brunswick's Tim Branscombe on the number 76, Castrol Canada Suzuki. Then the number 289, he is the second place pro in the field, Adam Roberts of Newport, Nova Scotia. Followed by the 727, the second intermediate in the field, the dragster, Doug McDonald from Amherst. Looking for hot lap times this time around. Johnny Montez flies. Once again, the reason that he is not being hammered at by Brian Dwaron is because those two riders had a major collision in their first moto. The Montez machine hit Dwaron when he was down on the ground. And that rider now suffering from a whole lot of soreness, particularly to the shoulder area. We have pros in one and two. Physically on the track with Adam Roberts of Newport, Nova Scotia now up in position. Then the intermediates, Tim Branscombe on the 76, followed by the 727 Amherst, Nova Scotia's dragster, Doug McDonald. Your leader, Johnny Montez, stopwatch runs on the 911, and he has dialed 911 and checked out. Big cross up there as he comes down over the tabletop. Adam Robarts puts it down much more cautiously. A 103.56 lap for the leader. Now we'll check the time on Robarts on the number 289. 125 intermediate class racing for trophies donated by our friends at Apple Auto Glass as they cruise here on a sunny Saturday afternoon at Hammond River Raceway. Pro classes, of course, race for cold, hard cash. Johnny Montez, the leader, the last lap for him rolled in in just over one minute, three seconds. He comes around into the spectator area now. And through those berms, over the step jump, big rooster tail off the back of that Port City Radiator Kawasaki. And behind him, Adam Roberts of Newport, Nova Scotia. He has had a crash-filled year, and is now trying to make a comeback in the second half of the season. Montez over the tabletop, into that right-hander, beginning to build up a berm there again. Roberts puts it down smoothly on the down slope of the tabletop and rolls that lap in 103.68. So they are lapping in about identical times at the front of the pro field. While the intermediates, it is the Castrol Canada Suzuki of Petty Kodiak, New Brunswick's Tim Branscombe, followed by Amherst, Nova Scotia's Doug McDonald on the 727 and brother Mike McDonald on the number three product finder Suzuki. 
And nobody handles it like Johnny Montez, the Fort City Radiator Kawasaki, the number 911 carrying novice plates is the pro rider, Montez. And he puts it over the tabletop smooth and secure. And we run the watch on the leader once again. The 289 Adam Roberts is in second in the pros and Blaine Prest can finish no worse than third, but he has already dropped a lap to the leaders. Then the 76, the intermediate leader, Tim Branscombe in the Castro Canada Suzuki, followed by the 727 product finder Suzuki of Amherst, Nova Scotia's Doug McDonald. And the number three, the second product finder Suzuki in the field, Mike McDonald. Your leader back up into the spectator area now and heading for the step jump. Completely clears it over the double, which has carved down now to be nothing more than a quick obstacle on the way to the finish line over the tabletop jump. About 40 to 45 feet of tabletop jump, in fact. Montez rolls that lap in a 102.30. Adam Robart still trying to catch up to the rear wheel of the Fort City Radiator Kawasaki, the number 911 of Johnny Montez. Intermediate field continues to run in this order. Tim Branscombe, the 76 Castrol Canada machine, the 727 product finder Suzuki of Dregster Doug McDonald of Amherst, Nova Scotia, and Mike McDonald, the number three product finder Suzuki, back in third in the intermediate field. Trying to keep himself in the contingency money here this afternoon. Montez circulating very smoothly and very quickly now, so fast. In fact, it looks like there are a couple of Johnny Montezes out on the course. Completely clears the tabletop. About the length of a flatbed trailer. Second place in the pro class. The number 289 Shore Cycle Honda of Adam Roberts. And the number 82 of Blaine Press can do no worse than finish third. He is a lap down to the leaders. Oh, the number 76 of Tim Branscombe momentarily in trouble there as he washed the front wheel out over the top of the berm. Coming on to the spectator straight, the front straight here at Hammond River Raceway. Branscombe leads that intermediate field as they battle it out for Apple Auto Glass trophies. Look for a lap time on the leader once again as he has broken clear of the field and has no one within range at this point in time. Johnny Montez, the Port City Radiator Kawasaki, he uh, destroyed his own machine or uh, severely damaged it and ended up having to uh, go to friends to find a ride here for his hometown race. And on unfamiliar equipment, he is hammering the field. Adam Robarts looks as though he may have some problems the way he's gripping the number 289 Honda with his knees and has allowed Blaine Press to get by him. Tim Branscombe continues to lead the intermediates on the Castrol Canada Suzuki, the number 76. Doug McDonald, number 727, just having a rough time finding the right line around this course to catch up to Branscombe. Continuing to run third in the intermediates, the number three is Mike McDonald, product finder Suzuki out of Amherst. And he is due to be lapped very soon as Johnny Montez continues to cruise. A 101.89 lap for Montez. He's picking up the pace here. And probably what has lit his wick, so to speak, is the bike in front of him. And even though they are not in the same class and not racing against each other, it often happens that riders want to hook on with someone and get by just for the fun of the dice. That's why quite often you'll have as good racing in the middle of the pack or at the back of the pack as you do at the very front. 
Adam Roberts continuously drifting backwards through the field here as now the intermediate leader, Tim Branscombe, has gone by him. Does nothing to Roberts' points nonetheless, but something severely wrong, obviously, with the shore cycle Honda of Adam Roberts. Tim Branscombe, the number 76 Castrol Canada Suzuki, in the lead of the intermediates with the product finder Suzuki of number 727, Doug McDonald. Out of Amherst, Nova Scotia in second spot. Mike McDonald runs third. Montez has gotten by the back marker. The number three of Mike McDonald. And the number 911 continues to cruise. He has checked out, as they say. The number 82 of Blaine Prest, as far as we can reckon up here, is down one lap to his competitors and runs third in the pro class. Behind him, the number 76 Castrol Canada machine of Tim Branscombe. Then the 727 of Doug McDonald of Amherst and continuing to run slowly and towards the rear of the field is the 289 of Adam Roberts. I can't tell whether Roberts is running on a flat or just exactly what the problem is with the number 289 machine. He certainly did not use any throttle going down the front straight in front of our vantage point here. Could be a good cross-class dice here. Blaine Press, the number 82 in the pro class, third place rider in the pro class, and the 76 of Tim Branscombe, the leader in the intermediate field. They will be together on the track very soon here. It'll be interesting to see whether Press lets them by or if they do a bit of dicing, even though they are racing in different classes. Remember the pros, the white number plate backgrounds with the black digits, the intermediate, the yellow number plate backgrounds with black digits. The only one who is really different out there is Johnny Montez, the number 911 at the checkered flag, takes the win on the downslope of the tabletop. 15 points, an uneventful race for Johnny Montez. Mike McDonald will be happy to take the checkered without completing one more lap. Mike McDonald will finish third in the intermediate field on the number three product finder Suzuki. By our calculations, Blaine Press, the number 82, is a lap down to the leaders and will finish third in the pros. There is the intermediate winner, the number 76, Tim Branscombe, the Castrol Canada Suzuki. And at the tabletop now, the number 727, Dregster Doug McDonald of Amherst, Nova Scotia, on the product finder Suzuki. And coming up onto the chute and heading for the finish line now, the Shore Cycle Honda of Adam Roberts of Newport, Nova Scotia, with an obvious problem late in the race, but stuck it out and went for the finish. And that is the way they turn them in in the 125 Intermediates and Pros here at Hammond River Raceway. Well, that's a wrap for our program for 1993. I'd like to thank all the volunteers who helped make this show possible. And I hope to see you back again next year.